Chapter 4 Pointed Sentences from Older Testimonies In the future, men in the common walks of life will be impressed by the Spirit of the Lord to leave their ordinary employment and go forth to proclaim the last message of mercy. As rapidly as possible, they are to be prepared for labor that success may crown their efforts. In the South, there is much that could be done by lay members of the church, persons of limited education. There are men, women, and children who need to be taught to read. Shall not the number of missionaries to the South be multiplied? Shall we not hear of many volunteers who are ready to enter this field? The whole church needs to be imbued with the missionary spirit. Then there will be many to work unselfishly in various ways as they can without being salaried. We need schools that will be self-supporting, and this can be if teachers will be helpful, industrious, and economical. Schools are to be established away from the cities, where the youth can learn to cultivate the soil and thus help to make themselves and the school self-supporting. Let means be gathered for the establishment of such schools. There is to be work done in the South, and it needs men and women who will not need to be preachers so much as teachers, humble men who are not afraid to work as farmers to educate the Southerners how to till the soil, for whites and blacks need to be educated in this line. There are lessons of the highest importance to be learned from the Word of God. This great book is open to us, that our youth may be educated after the manner of the sons of the prophets. We as a people should carry on the work of the education of our youth in such a way that they will be guarded against living self-indulgent lives. I have been shown that in our educational work we are not to follow the methods that have been adopted in our older established schools. There is among us too much clinging to old customs, and because of this we are far behind where we should be in the development of the third angel's message. Years have passed into eternity with small results that might have shown the accomplishment of a great work. The usefulness learned in the school farm is the very education that is most essential for those who go out as missionaries to many foreign fields. There has been a decided failure to meet the requirements of God in the southern field. We need to ask the Lord to give us understanding that we may see our lack and take in the situation in the south and the need of doing the missionary work that lies right at hand. For twenty years it has been before our people that they must do a special work in the southern states. When the Lord repeatedly sends messages to his people, it is because he desires them to follow the light he gives. We are not to work in the same place over and over again, leaving many places where the last message of warning has not yet been proclaimed. Memphis, New Orleans, and the other cities of the South are calling for workers filled with the power of the Spirit. As a people, we need yet to learn what it means to fill our places as missionaries among a people who know not the truth for this time. I have received words of encouragement for our workers at Madison who are trying to give their students a practical education while establishing them in the principles of our faith. The students are learning how to till the soil and how to build plain, simple houses, and these students are encouraged to go out and establish other industrial schools where they, in turn, can educate their students how to plan and how to build.